on Facebook can you find us, but also if you're not on Facebook, then all of the episodes are on uh, YouTube. So my YouTube channel, Dr. Stacey Cooper, you can find them there as well. Today we are discussing healthiness. In previous episodes, we talked about and talked about all of them specifically and indif- individually, and shared with you ways that you can prepare them and the ways that you can get them into your healthy lifestyle. Swapping out bad fuels for good fuels, and that's a lot what I talk about. But it's not just about food because you can eat well 100% of the time, but if other areas of your life are stressed, then your body still won't function optimally. So we talk about stress reduction, about quieting the mind, quieting the body. We have physical movement for the and strengthening exercises that have been discussed in depth that you can view on our previous episodes. They're all tagged by topic, so anything that you want to hear about or see about, you can find it right there on the page Lifestyle Balance Solutions on Facebook. So thank you for joining us here, popping me in on the call. Today we're talking about coconut and the benefits. Of coconut is a true nut. Peanuts are not a nut. Actually, so when I'm talking about healthy nuts and seeds, peanuts included in this section. I do not recommend peanuts of any sort at any time. Much peanut butter is made with lots of fat, lots of sugar, and it is highly allergenic. And we're seeing that more and more these days with children in schools and nut-free facilities and all that. And it's because the body's become oversensitive and is Uh, creating a hyper reaction to the substance and so peanuts are not a true nut they are a legume so drop them and swap them out with all of these fabulous nuts that I'm going to be sharing with you great alternative nut butters are almond butter hazelnut butter pumpkin seed butter sunflower seed butter all of these things that you can use cashew nut butter are all great healthy fats that is essential for the functioning of our body and our brain. We'll be talking about coconut and it's important in helping to effects. So with no further ado, off to coconut. Coconut is the creamy white flesh of the coconut is high in fat. Yay, yay. Much of which is a type of saturated fat and it's also an antibiotic which is very, very good for you. So many uses of coconut, just the fat itself, coconut oil, which is great for sautéing because it can handle a higher heat. Do not sauté with co- with um, olive oil. Olive oil is a cold-pressed oil, and it does not like heat, and it denatures when you put it in a frying pan or you're sautéing with it. So don't use it for that purpose. It's great for salads, dressings, marinades, that kind of coconut. Olive oil should not be heated. Now, coconut oil is great. It handles a higher temperature much more easily. It doesn't denature, and it is fine for sautéing. So swap, make that switch and uh, fuel your body better. So more than 80% of the calories in coconut are from fat. Fat is essential health. For nervous system health, 80 to 95% of your brain is made up of fat. And these low-fat diets, they take the fat out. They have to add sugar in order to make it taste good. Now they have starved the brain and the body of fat. This leads to degenerative diseases. And they've pumped up the sugar content, which increases the diabetic connection. So get rid of all that low-fat stuff hanging around. Eat healthy Fats like coconut fat, which is very, very important for your body. So the fat found in coconut, although much of this fat is saturated, there's emerging evidence that they are healthy fats, of which there are a few dietary sources, and coconut is one of the Several studies show that they reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. This is of great importance because it was all thought that fat clogs the arteries. Well, Unnatural fat does clog arteries. Healthy, natural fats are essential for the optimal function of your body, and they actually help to prevent cardiovascular disease. Coconut is one of these. So one of these fats found in coconut fat is lauric acid, and it seems to have the ability to increase the good cholesterol, which is the HDL, in the blood. This is a very important factor. Coconut fats also seem to have a strong antibiotic effect, and this has been shown. 
and there's anecdotal evidence that coconut oil may even reverse or postpone the effects of Alzheimer's disease. It has been shown that patients with Alzheimer's, when they are providing oil in their dietary intake, helps to reverse the effects of the Alzheimer's disease. It is a degenerative disease. It is reversible when you start to fuel your body differently. So that is something that really needs to be looked into. The nut also contains phytosterols, which have a total cholesterol lowering effect. The coconut flesh is a good source of fiber, as many benefits of coconut itself. Coconut is one of the few sources of dietary medium chain fats linked to heart protection. It can increase the HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol. It's a strong antibiotic. So another great thing that you can do with coconut oil is put a teaspoon in your mouth and do some oil pulling. This is found in aerobic medicine, and this is a great way to detoxify the body. So you would put a teaspoon of coconut oil in your mouth. It will soften just from the heat of your mouth and become a liquid, and you can just swish it in your mouth. You have a huge blood supply in your mouth, um, and this is where toxins can be pulled right out of your system just using coconut oil. So you can put the coconut oil in your mouth, go in the shower, have a shower for 10 minutes, whatever, be sure not to spit the coconut oil in or down a drain. Do not do that. Because coconut oil, when it's unrefined, which is what you want, is a solid at room temperature. So if you're buying coconut oil and it's a liquid, that's been refined. That's not its most natural state. Do not purchase that, is my recommendation. You want coconut oil that is a solid at room temperature. So when you're doing your oil pulling, if you go to spit that coconut oil into the sink, it will solidify in the pipe. Then you will need a plumber. And I don't want anyone calling me saying, Dr. Stacy, I need a plumber because of your oil pulling. So spit into a Kleenex, the trash, or just spit it into the trash, whichever your preference. And that is how you dispose of it once you've done your oil pulling. Don't swallow it because those toxins and things that the oil has pulled out of your system, if you swallow it, you've just kept it in the system. So don't, it tastes pleasant, but don't swallow it when you've been doing your oil pulling. So you just put a teaspoon of oil in your mouth, let it switch around for about 10 minutes. Natural antibiotic effect of the coconut oil, this really helps with gingivitis, bad breath, healthy gums and teeth. It helps to whiten the teeth as well, which is a great bonus. And it also draws the toxins straight from your bloodstream because of the high capillary content in your mouth and the thin mucous membrane for toxins to be pulled out of your system just with oil pulling. So a great, easy way that you can help to detoxify your body every day whenever you want, first thing in the morning if that works best for you. So that's just another side note, another benefit of coconut oil. Now coconut flour and dried coconut are both dried forms of coconut and good for keeping in the pantry for many, many uses. You can use the flour in baking, but be sure to follow coconut specified recipes um, so that your product does turn out as you expect it to. You can drink coconut water now that is different than coconut milk. So coconut water is the juice found inside the nut of the coconut. Very, very healthy for you as well, so coconut water. Coconut milk is where they actually take the meat of the coconut and press it, and soak it and press it, and make a milk out of that. So it is two different sources, just so that you're clear on, on what we're talking about. And of course, coconut milk is a great used in many Asian dishes when cooking. I have a great coconut curry recipe um, in my cookbook that you can use. And many, many dishes give great fat content, satisfy the satiation center, nice, pleasant coconut taste to the dish, and um, very nourishing and healthy as well. Did you know that coconut is one of the best and healthiest fats you can use for frying? I did mention that earlier. It is mature, it is slower to oxidize and alter chemically than other cooking oils, particularly those high in polyunsaturated fats. Their oxidized fats are thought to contribute to heart disease, so you don't want oxidized fats. And that's why it's important to have coconut oil as a solid at room temperature so that it's unrefined and unoxidized. So those are some healthy benefits that you can use for coconut oil in your cooking. Hi friends, Dr. Stacy here. 
Now I want to provide you with the opportunity to join me in my five pounds in five days challenge. The next one is right around the corner. Click the link, jump in, and that's where I will share with you how you can get your health on track. Sharing and understanding how the body functions on the inside, that's my vision, and my mission is to eliminate the diabetic epidemic globally. So getting your health on track is vital to you creating a life that you love. So join us in the five pounds and five days challenge. The link is right there. You'll see it. It's either above or below. And you will then have the opportunity to step into creating a healthier, more natural lifestyle as you begin to heal your health naturally. I'm Dr. Stacy, and I'll see you on the inside.